Matthew chapter 13, I want to talk about right sense of values. Right sense of values. You know, if you want clarity on the subject of what's valuable, you've got to look to Jesus. And he tells us the life that's on the rock, that's the right life. And it's the words of Christ and the counsel of Christ and the values of Christ. And so the Lord puts a premium on church. He loved the church. He gave himself for the church. He gave his blood for the church. And so he values the church. So the Lord wants us to value the church and things related to church, the Great Commission. These are things of value to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hezekiah was surrounded by the enemy forces and he uh, had to negotiate taking the the gold of the temple and the silver of the temple and give it away. And he realized what was more valuable, the gold or his life. And I think he deducted his life. And so life is the most valuable thing we have. And life in the Lord Jesus Christ, that's there's nothing more valuable than eternal life to have eternal life. And Jesus said, I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. We're in Christ's hand. Our life is hid in Christ in God. And so, in Matthew chapter 13, it talks about being fruitful. You know, we put value on fruit. We go, uh, If you put out a garden, you put a lot of value on on the fruit in the garden, you're willing to go out and work that garden and, and do everything necessary and get water and, uh, you know, get all the rocks out of the garden and keep the birds out of the garden and work that field. Why? Because we want fruit. And so, I don't know about you, but I'm geared for production. I'm happy if something's being accomplished. And I like to see production and so the Lord Jesus wants us to be fruitful and so we find in uh, the book of Matthew look at um, verse number chapter 13 verse 8 it says but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit and so he talks about the seed the soil and the soil and he talks about the different kinds of ground which can represent hearts that are recipients of the word and if we allow the word to penetrate our heart and we really take it serious we could have fruit unto life eternal now that's not just for preachers that's for everybody and so the Lord Jesus shows us what's of value and it's production and so all through the Bible you find people with faith and faith is necessary to please God and so if we have faith in God that's a value said if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed that has a value it can do something and so prayer has value and so we don't want when it comes to fruit bearing let the devil steal our fruit or hard times prevent us, or we don't want to let the cares compete with that fruit. And so we need to fence out the birds and root out the rocks and pull the weeds and have fruit unto the Lord. And so when it comes to value, we need the right sense of values, and the greatest of all is our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. To love God and to love others. And this is where God puts value. And we're living in a time frame when people are putting less and less value on the things that God places value on. And so, God's will over man's will. The call of God. You know, we all have a call. We have a vocation in Christ. And so, we don't want to let the world to outweigh the Lord. We've got to remember the spiritual things 
should exceed and excel over the physical and the carnal things of life. And so this is where we find values. Relationship with God and fellowship with the Lord. In John chapter 15, if you'll just turn over there a couple pages. John chapter 15. Verse number 4. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. And so we need to abide in the Lord to have that fruit. And he talks about how if we abide in him, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. And so this is valuable, our relationship and our fellowship with the Lord. And so we find production is what brings satisfaction in life. And production in serving Jesus. Not long ago we watched a video of this group of children that were homeless. Their parents brought them into this group of people and just signed the signature and dropped them off. And then these kids were parading before all these people that were looking at them. And uh, they were trying to make themselves wanted. So... You could watch them just kind of walking the aisle, and it, the people were on both sides trying to decide whether they wanted those children or not. Now, this is in America. This is happening uh, even today, where these children need a home, and people want to take them in and adopt them, and they just sign them off, and who want, whoever wants them, they can take them home. And so this one boy... He was walking along and somebody interviewed him and said, what do you think about what you're doing here? And what exactly do you want? And he said, well, I just want a place to belong. But the fact is, folks, we're not valuing as a nation like we used to. Where people are taking their own children and dropping them off and don't have a use for them. And so that's a a sad situation. And so we find things of value. We talked about fruit bearing. Talked about eternal things. Talked about different things that God places value on. You know, the world places value on information. Lots of value on information. And if you had the right information, you can really get things of great value just with information. But we have information. And the Lord Jesus said He's coming again and this information is something that is of great value because those that know that can better prepare themselves for that great event in the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so this is valuable to have information. Jesus said, I've called you friends for all things that I've heard of my Father I've made known unto you. And so the Lord Jesus gives us things of value. Things of information. And so information is valueless without an application. And so the Lord Jesus wants us to watch. And he gives us all the information to let us know that he's coming again. And so relationships, fellowship, and production, and God's will. This is of value. And we're living in a time frame when, uh, unfortunately, our world is missing a sense of values. We're missing the sense of values we used to have. And so churches, now this is an exception, but most churches are losing people. We was just in a church this uh, past Sunday and they have a I think seven or eight people on Sunday morning and they've been praying for a pastor for the last two years well when I graduated from Bible school it wouldn't have been hard at all to get someone to come in to an opportunity like that the building's paid for and uh, everything's set but somewhere someone has the wrong sense of values because 
that position should be filled. Two years is a long time without a pastor. And so having a right sense of values. We must not let the weeds keep us from planting the seeds. There's lots and lots of weeds. In Matthew chapter 13, Jesus talked about the good man sowing the seed in the field, and an enemy comes and he sows the, the weeds, and uh, the tares come up with the wheat. And today, we're seeing that in full fruition. All the weeds are choking out the fruit, in, and uh, we're trying to uh, have fruit in a weed patch. And so that takes some work, fencing out the birds, rooting out the rocks, pulling out the weeds so that we can be productive. And that's, that's what we need to do today. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it when you get a return. Yeah. It's worth it. Sure. And so, we're looking at sense of values. But what's the greatest thing, the pearl of great price? The Lord Jesus Christ. He's our greatest treasure. The Lord Jesus. He's the pearl of great price. He's the treasure in the field. And so, you know, young people, if you want something of value, then go ahead and give your life to find the treasure as you go in the field. Now, I know if you're already saved, you have the treasure. But you experience Christ in a greater way if you'll serve Him in the field. And so that field can be here. You know, I'm sure the church goes on visitation. And so, this is your field. But listen, bringing someone to Christ, that's treasure in the field. And young people have more energy, and, uh, you know, you're at your, your best. And it's a great opportunity to find the treasure of serving the Lord Jesus in the field. And God's communicated will is treasure. What God says is treasure. He talked about his word being hindered by the weeds. His word being hindered by the rocks. The word being hindered by all these entities. But you know, it's the greatest treasure when we allow the Lord to communicate his will and follow his word wherever it is. Doing whatever God wants. And God will fit us where we fit best in the field of his choice. And that's where we're going to find the fruit and get out of the maze of life and find a purpose in life and the joy of serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, we need to get back our sense of values. You know, we always, I said we, we always can stray from that sense of values, the value of what God values. The church, life, eternal life, serving the Lord in the field, all these different things. And uh, God will he'll help us as we follow that journey. So today, uh, just like to encourage you, preacher and everybody, let's keep focused on the values that the Lord has. If you enjoyed today's message, head on over to ibcforums.com and click on sermons. And don't forget to check out our other links in the notes section of today's broadcast. As always, thanks for listening.